Dr. Banner. Now might be a really good time for you to get angry. That's my secret, Cat. I'm always angry. This is the Make Movies Great Again podcast, where we are destroying cynicism in the box office and looking for the Infinity Stones. Welcome to our theater. My name is Matt Vieira, and here with me, not as always, but actually new, is Sean Abernathy. Sean. Hello. So, Adam uh, Adam is not dead. He's uh, he's not with us today, but he is he is with us on this plane of existence. He's just not here yep. on Skype or uh, in the room. Sean is joining us today because Sean actually is probably going to be on more podcasts going further, further because we we have some stuff uh, we have some stuff in you know cooking. We're in the kitchen. We're cooking, so we're uh, we got some we got some good stuff coming up with uh, with Sean. But Sean, what's your uh, what's your deal here? You you were an original founders of the average original founder of the average nobodies. Yeah, like four years ago. It, we actually just hit our four year anniversary oh on WordPress. So four years ago when we started AverageNobodies dot com, uh, Sean, Adam, myself, and Ryan, who does the Average Nobodies podcast with me, we were the the founders of the blog, and we started from there. And since then, we've done podcasts together, and we've done you yeah. know things here and there. But so we're I was on vacation this, like, with this. Yeah, <laughs> he's been on vacation. We'll walk about he's taking a sabbatical. No. No. Um, but with this like kind of like rebirth of the average nobodies with Make Movies Great Again and the Average Nobody's Podcast, we're kind of looking to do some new stuff. So that's where Sean comes in. Yeah. Back, all all, back, all the credit to you guys for keeping it going. Pretty back the fold. It's uh, it, I was I was telling you the the blog count the other day. It's wild. Uh, Ryan it's has like amazing. Ryan's at like almost two thousand blogs. Incredible. I'm at like fourteen hundred or something like that. It's it's crazy. I think I'm at thirty. It's crazy. I think you hit there. Adam <laughs> had like eight. I don't think he ever got the double digits. <laughs> no. Uh, no. And you you had uh, thirty. But I, I talked to Adam too about he's going to get back into blogging. We have uh, Holly, Ryan's girlfriend, blogging. I saw that. That's awesome. So she's great. Hey, she's done. She did uh, two awesome blogs. Uh, two animal blogs. They were awesome. Yep. And, uh, Love that one genre. Was, one was the fun facts about the chickens like to swing, and the video is just fantastic. It's like chickens on a swing. Oh, really? Like a little swing. And oh, it's like, but you're looking up. The uh, the uh, the <clears throat> narration is a little strange. Yeah, it's some like it's some lady narrating it, but like she's the chicken. Like, oh, I like to swing. I've been swinging <laughs> since I was a tiny chick. I'm like, all right, like this is a great video, but I had to put it on. <laughs> video. So, and then also Mitch is back on doing his thing. You know, Mitch, just, just rogue, rogue blogging. Rogue uh, blogging. Just, rogue, just, he's in the rogue squadron just, of blogging. <laughs> just, just whatever he wants, when he wants. Yeah. That's the way he does. So, yeah. but anyway, let's jump right into it. Uh, trailer of the week. Yes. So, I guess it's not technically a trailer. It's more of a teaser than a trailer. Okay. If we're going to get technical, yeah, it's, teaser. It's technically a teaser. Um, it's Deadpool 2. So again, that's the thing. Like, It's not a trailer because there's no title for it. It's just kind of like, you know another Deadpool movie's coming. That's right. This is what he told. But anyway. Feeding the masses. It... It came on, I saw it on Friday before the Logan movie. And I was telling you before, literally before the Logan. Like, the right. credits started rolling for Logan, and then they just came into the scene. I'm like, I, I was telling that we did the spoiler cast on Deadpool, uh, on, on Logan, and I was like, well, when, I, when it first, like, the cameras, like, faded in, I kind of it was like... Ah, uh, this doesn't really look like what I saw on the Logan trailers. Like, this doesn't make sense. Like, uh, everything was very like dusty uh, and, okay. and and like you know brown and desert. And then it, like it comes to this like very like bluish like underworld city type location. Yep. And then he unveils his hood, and it's it's uh it's our good friend Wade Wilson. Did you think it for? Did you think for a second that it was going to be like a collaboration between? Did you think Deadpool was just in the Logan movie? I thought, like, when I first saw it, I had no idea. Adam apparently had heard something or read something. I had uh, no idea, right. so I went into it with fresh eyes, and I kind of looked, and I was like, okay, like, I didn't want this. I didn't ask for this. Like, right. this is not something I wanted, but I was like, okay, they're probably going to do it tastefully, because if Ryan Reynolds was involved with it, and so was Hugh Jackman, as like, you know, you know, he has, he's like the, I don't know what you call it, what you like, I'm trying to search for a word here, but he's like the tear kit. The caretaker of uh-huh. the Wolverine character. So, oh, yeah. along with like Ryan Reynolds, like being did Deadpool so well last yeah. year, and it took yeah. so long for it to be made. I know they wouldn't just like throw it together. So I was like in my head, I'm like, oh, okay, maybe it's like a quick like mm. once over like you know thing, kind of like how in Deadpool he had like the Hugh Jackman uh, yeah right face, right. you know, like kind of like a one one off like. Yeah. 
Did, did it did it stand alone then? Did it go into more credits and then the Logan movie started? Yeah, yeah I, I believe right into the Logan. Movie. I believe it. I I totally forget because I was so like excited about it, but I believe it went into like another credit sequence for like, Logan. Yeah, it was it, just it was almost it. like the end credit secret scenes in movies where they did it in the beginning. <laughs> exactly, Perfect. that's exactly what it was. Well, and then it was funny because it. we actually we waited. After Logan, because obviously one doesn't just get up no, of after a Marvel no. movie no. and leave fool, the theater. Fool me ten times. <laughs> nobody, nobody moved. Like the majority of the theater was sitting down, you know, as they should. And so no, we're like, yeah. "Oh shit, there's a lot of people sitting down. Maybe there is something." Because we didn't read ahead. Yeah, why would you? But leave? like the guy who comes to clean the theater comes in and goes, "Everybody go home. There's no, <laughs> there's nothing after the credits." And like the theater just let out this awful groan. <laughs> But it was cool. Yeah, Are you, you so? Do. Do, have you heard like you know Cable is going to be in Deadpool two or whatever they're going to call it? Deadpool. Right. Yeah, yeah. Have you heard about the newest casting in Deadpool? Yeah, no, no, for Cable, who they think is going to be Cable. Oh no! Who? So they've there's been a lot of things thrown around, including Kiara Knightley as Cable. Really? But I think that's more rumor than anything because gotcha. they they mentioned it in the movie. But oh. they're saying they're trying to get and forgive me, um, guy. I don't know your real name, <laughs> but he, he's uh, Detective Hopper in Stranger Things. Oh, right? yes. And also he's uh, Elliot oh, Hirsch no, on um, Elliot Hirsch on Newsroom. Did you ever oh, see Newsroom? Oh, my God. He's Elliot Hirsch in Newsroom. Because I just rewatched the whole entire Newsroom series. Wow. And so, yeah, he's Elliot Hirsch on that as well. So they were saying that he's going to be uh, Cable. I don't, I don't, I don't see it, but I, trust, but I trust David Harbour. David Harbour. David Harbour. David I just Harbour. want to get it out there. Uh, I don't. I don't. Technic. I don't like see it right off the bat, but I definitely trust the Deadpool <laughs> people in casting someone that's that's good for the role. So. I think. I think Deadpool proved themselves. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's it's too bad that like they you know they're gonna have a different director now because uh, Miller moved on and they had that whole issue with like he wasn't like a fan of like yeah. But I I think we should be okay because they're still in way Same better producers. shape. They're still in way better shape than what the DC the. Uh, DC Cinematic Universe is going through right now uh-huh. because they're they they've gone through like four directors on the Flash movie, still no way he's attached to it. It's right. It's, I thought you guys were jumping on that. Yeah, we I thought you and Adam were going well, we, to. Well, we we uh, we sent our we sent a letter and we're doing a video next. And we're gonna see, in the ring. We're going to see how that goes. Yeah. But <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay, um, so this is a this is a little change. It's the fastest minute in movie news. It might sound familiar because it used to be the fastest thirty seconds in movie news, but it wasn't even close to thirty seconds either. So this at least is, if we say this is minute, completely different. So at least we if we say the fastest minute in movie news, it could be you know minute. It's a minute. It's, it's a minute. A thirty minute. It's a. <laughs> but this is wild. This is twice as much news. <laughs> it, right? So, yeah, it has so, to be because it, it's a minute. Yeah, it's, it's actually, I think it's less than when we were doing... Uh, no, no, it's more, we doing, it's more. It's more. It's but more and it's, better, people. It's, bang, it's more bang for your buck. Okay, so let's do it. All right. Logan is destroying it at the box office, taking a commanding lead of the weekend with $88 million domestic. Two, <laughs> two th- <laughs> I was going to ask you about two, this. Two, no, it wasn't 2,410. That's an extra zero. It's $241 million <laughs> worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Definitely not. Two thousand four. They're doing good, but not that good. Uh, could Green Lantern surprise us in the Justice League movie? Uh, he just Green Lantern has been notoriously left out of the Justice League movie so far. So, uh, but they were saying that a member of the Green Lantern Corps could show up, not necessarily Hal Jordan, and then die, save the day, uh, and hand off the ring to Hal Jordan, setting up the twenty twenty Green Lantern Corps movie, which is in in effect. Uh, there is a rumored post credit scene in Kong Skull Island that links the movie to the upcoming Godzilla flick. Can't which is wait. awesome. Travis Knight, uh, who is the director of Kubo and the Two Strings, excellent movie if you haven't seen it, especially seen if you it. like stop motion. Need to. He's going to direct the Bumblebee spin off Transformers movie. Michael K. Williams, best known as Chalky White or or Omar from The Wire, uh, is joining the cast of the Han Solo movie. And the upcoming Beauty and the Beast movie will have Disney's first openly gay character. I was reading about that earlier. It's uh, Gaston's sidekick. Don't know his name. LeFou. LeFou. L-A-F-O-U. I couldn't remember. I saw the name. I couldn't remember who it was in the show. Um, And we actually have a friend that played that character on stage. I don't know where. I think in D.C. Matt DaSilva. He played that character in Beauty and the Beast on on the stage. Is the original character like... I, that, did they change it completely? I I think I think I mean I don't I don't know I only read I only I read remember. that quickly and I, yeah. and I was listening to it on a, actually a podcast this morning talking about it but they said that he's going to be an openly gay, openly gay character yeah. I assume with like 
that someone was saying that this is going to be very crass, but he said like, he has the hots for Gaston. Like, ah, that's, like his, oh, that's why Josh, he, like, well, hey, yeah, that kind of little, little love triangle. So, yeah, exactly, with him, Bell, and uh, Gaston. So. I only read all about the outrage that was coming from it, and I, you know, I read, well, sure, I, I read I, Jesus I, once, and I <laughs> shut down, and I just walked away. So, like, I, I, I try not to get that. I actually, yeah, was, yeah. I actually was listening to a TED Talk the other day. This is way off topic, <laughs> but it was uh, some girl who was raised in the Westboro Baptist Church Right, isn't that the like the yeah. super hateful like yeah. church, whatever? And uh, she basically gave a TED talk saying like she, at like five years old she was like forced to march with her parents and like holding these signs and she like found the pictures and like it's like all these awful things that like that her parents made her hold like you know gays deserve yeah. to die like Yikes. all these fucking horrid right. things and so she does like a TED talk obviously it's like yeah. like forcing Ugh. these like beliefs on like a child yeah. like, anyway so um, but, but yeah will, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure there's to... I'm sure there's a ton of people out there that are not happy with this it's like whatever yeah um, okay so do you have anything you want to talk about anything in the fastest uh, minute it was more like five minutes next Godzilla flick yeah so Millie Bob Millie Bobby Brown she, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. sight yep yep Love she's her. awesome yeah. do you follow her on Instagram or like no, Twitter should I you definitely should yeah you absolutely she was she just posted a video I was watching a little bit before she was like in the drive through of a Starbucks I think with her mom uh-huh. and like her mom's like doing the order and she's like making faces behind her back and stuff it's hilarious she's yeah. she's she's fantastic it is kind of weird to be a fanboy of a of a twelve year old yeah she's like twelve 14? or thirteen it's weird but it's you know. No, she's, she's great. She's, she's great awesome. Actress. And you named your cat after her character. I did, yes. I have a cat named Eleven. <laughs> That's awesome. I get a lot That's of so weird cool. looks. That's all right. I got a cat named Batman. I also okay. get a lot of weird there looks. Okay, there it is. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, so the, yeah, the movie with Millie Bobby Brown. Yep. So, um, so they're talking about the legendary took control of the Kong franchise. They already took control of the Godzilla franchise when they did the one with Brian Cranston and... Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, Elizabeth Olsen, and right, right. I forget the guy's name. Right. So that's legendary. Kong's legendary. Skull Island's legendary. Pictures. And the next Godzilla movie's going to be. But then they're also rumored there's going to be like a, a meeting of the monsters movie where it's oh, Godzilla yeah. versus King Kong. Oh, absolutely. So, which is a no brainer. That's going to be, that's going to be sell a million in one tickets. And I love it's gonna, Godzilla. It's going to be pretty cool. Godzilla was so good. Me and Adam talk about it. It's, it's one of the movies like, on like your Mount Rushmore of movie marketing, like done right, it's Godzilla. Like, yeah. Godzilla is like the Teddy oh, yeah. Roosevelt. It's like he like the way they did the trailer. They barely showed him. It was perfect, the, and they ruined it with Kong. I, I I think they really did. I think they oh, they, they showed, showed too much. Showed too much of Kong. Yeah. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I don't know. They just. It, 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 I don't need to see that much, and I I made it a point to not because Adam told me like don't watch the Kong trailer; it shows too much. So I made it a point just like not to watch it. Are you yeah. talking about this new one? The newest one? Yeah, yeah. Do you you saying? Right? Yeah, I, mean, I watched it. They show Kong. They show all the monsters it fights like a million times, like really unnecessary stuff. Like that that like apoco apocalypse now like helicopters coming in right apocalypse now is on. Yeah, it takes place in seventy three. Yeah. So it's like that you know yeah. like the helicopters coming yeah. in with the sun yeah. in the background like <laughs> yeah. that whole shot, yeah. and then like Kong in like the background the same thing as the movie but just the outline of him like that's all yeah. you really need. That's what I need. If, you have if that. It's like we're like, why do they do this? Because they want to hype people up to the movie, or do they want to sell it? I, I mean, it's I guess it's both. To, it's the same things, but like, yeah. you have John C, when John C. Riley is your least famous actor in in the yeah, leading you, roles. You're, 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 doing you're good. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're fine. You're, you're fine. fine. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, so yeah, it was too much. Yeah. That's all right though. Yeah. Speaking of too much, let's get right into the MCU. Uh, <laughs> that's, I, that's not a knock. That's not a knock on the Marvel Cinematic Universe because I fucking love. No, because movies. we're destroying cynicism here. But we are. We are destroying. Except cynicism. for a little cynicism for for least for Pacific Rim. I listen. Listen. Pacific, Pacific Rim is not on this docket for a reason. Okay. Sean. If I have Adam to back me up, then maybe we put Pacific Rim on here. Uh, you need backup. All right, I can't. Next I time, can't have <clears> when Adam gets, we his need priorities two on one. And, uh, we need two on one. When Adam that. gets his priorities straight, and he comes back. <laughs> <laughs> he saw me on the docket and he's afraid. It's all right. All right. Uh, all right. So let's talk about the Infinity Stones. Right. Okay. They were originally referred to as Infinity Gems, but we're going to call them Infinity Stones because um, Thanos decided as such. I, I just looked this up. I, I did not read any of the original um, the original literature, I'll call them, comic right. books. We're unbiased. Um, yes. We're going in blind. We're unbiased. Um, so they were originally called Gems. 
They were uh, forged from the six singularities that form the universe. And they're they're the if you watch the MCU, you know you know these things. You see them in all the movies. Okay. They're, they're in a bunch of the movies. I'm probably so, gonna say stones. So I know I'm I'm probably gonna say stones as well. Right. So Good um, out there. yeah. Thanos decided to call them Infinity Gems. They were originally stones, but we're going to call them stones. He's evil. We're good. We're saying yeah. stones. So let's go through them. There's six. So, so we're going to do a recap where they are. So we're going to do a recap of where they are, what they do, and how they were introduced. Okay. Um, just to start off, there's six of them. Six. Okay. And this spans the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is measurable from, I believe, Iron Man was number one. Yep, that's the first one. And Captain America, I think, was the second one, all the way up, or Thor, was, all the no, way. No, no. Captain America, it was Iron Man, Hulk. Ah, yes. Thor. Captain America was the last of the first. The reason why Thor. I, that Thor, because that was the one with Ed Norton. No, Hulk was Ed Norton. Yeah. He said Thor. Did I say Thor? Well, you said Hulk. Oh, yeah, I mean Hulk. Hulk is the one with Ed Norton. Hulk That's is the one with Ed Norton, because yeah. now it's Ruffalo. Yes. So there's six of these stones. There's the space space stone, the soul stone, reality stone, the time stone, power stone, which is an awesome Dreamcast game, and the mind stone. Have you ever played Power Stone? No. It's fucking awesome. Okay. So I, that's okay. like that was a throwback right there. Okay. So let's start off with the space stone, the right. tesseract. This is probably the one that everybody knows the most because it's it's shown up I think the most in all of the. Is right, a, yeah. The test at least it was at least the first one. Yeah, it was definitely the first one. So that shows that shows up in Captain America for the first time with Hydra. It does. Hydra's using it to power all of its weapons. Right. Um, it's it, it's used the, the the function of it. It's uh, you can travel through space and I guess time as well. Too. It's a teleporter. It's yeah, a teleporter. Yeah. I don't know if you do time. I, I mean, technically, if you're traveling through space, you're te- you're, like if you're tra- if you're if you're teleporting instantly, are you not tra- are you not traveling space and time? All right, so if we're gonna get into this, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, no, tell me, tell me, are we, are we are we are we traveling space and time? Technically, when you teleport, I'm talking instant. Okay, but you're still traveling a certain amount of distance, which would sure. warp. When you warp space, you must warp time. Okay, so time would pass. So. Okay. Time's gonna pass. If you, the faster you move, the l- the less you age. So I, it's not time and space. If, it's just yes. space. Yep. So if I was if I spent my life on the moon or on the space station orbiting the Earth, I yeah. would age slower than you. Okay. Because I'm moving through time faster, but time still happens the same for you. <laughs> okay. We're not gonna get it. This is yeah, a, no. <clears throat> that's right. not good. Okay. So the tesseract. Yeah. Y- you see it? it. It's it's vessel is the cube. It's uh because the actual Infinity Stones are are small. In, in comparison okay, to so the things we see them in. That was one of my questions. Is it that really that big? Because I feel so like no, that cube changes sizes. The cube, yes. The cube does change sizes. Because if you look at, uh, and we'll, we'll go through the other ones as well, but we'll start with you know, the cube. It, it's not actually the space stone. The Makes space sense. stone is smaller because if you if you look to um, Thanos' gauntlet, yeah. um, where yeah. the gems reside. You're not fitting that cube in that, in that That's gauntlet. the size of, of the gems, the stones, Got whatever it. you want to call them. So that's it's it's like a vessel so that normal people can use it. It, it. Its power can be like dumbed down. It's a converter, so Thor can transfer. Or even though I think Thor could probably hold it by himself, just because he's the chosen, you know, well, he's, yeah. he's the worthy. Yeah. He travels. You know, he takes Loki back to Asgard with the Tesseract, and that's where. So I haven't seen the Thor movies, but you say that we think that it's back in Loki. It's back into Loki's hands now. So yes, or it's back. Loki in was impersonating Odin. Last time we saw it, Loki was impersonating Odin on the throne, and it left Earth it, for right. and it's in the Asgard. vault. It's in Odin's vault. Okay, yeah, okay. All right, so that's all I really have to say about that one. Yeah. So the space stone, it's an easy Tesseract one. started off powering Hydra weapons. The right. Red Skull lost it, and he he's teleported into another. That's the thing too. So now he's teleported. You're saying you're a tele- you're a team teleporter. I'm team Red Skull's coming back in Phase Three. I think it makes sense considering the Tesseract teleports people. Yes. Because right. he touches it with his own hands, which you're not really supposed to do that, right. and he just disappears off the giant bomber, and then you know Captain America has his, you know, meets his icy grave. That's right. Uh, okay, the Reality Stone. I don't know much about this one because I didn't actually see it on the screen, but I did some research on it. But you know, you this. So it ends. It just yeah. I mean, if we're gonna get into it, alters reality. Yeah. Changes matter to matter to dark matter. Okay. And it ended up with the collector. Yes. Where it blurs. Is when we get into the power stone. Okay, you want you, let's, let's 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 combine. Let's, yeah, those. let's combine them. Let's combine them. So the power you take the power stone away. Okay, take the power stone away. 
Okay, so the Power Stone was first shown in Guardians of the Galaxy. Correct. Uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy go to the Collector right. to to get this, right? That's where they first get it. The Power Stone. They get the Power Stone. It's right. in the orb. Yeah, it, well, yeah, he, he, he steals the orb in the beginning. Yes. He goes to the Nova Corps planet. What is that called? Um... I don't know. I'm failing, yeah. I'm failing yeah. our listeners no, miserably I, I, no. right back. I, 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 My I, bad. Um, well, I'm looking up right now. This is bad radio. <laughs> this, is, this is an episode of bad radio. Bad radio. Um, anyway, go with the eighth there. Go with the... Uh, All right. Uh, so go anyways, go the, anyways, well, let's just get to it. The Power Stone ends up with the Collector. When I, Xandar. When all there. Xandar. Xandar. Thank you. It's a dumb name. Okay. Never that remember that. Name. Anyways. The uh, Power Stone ends up with the Collector, but all the Guardians are there, and yeah. then the Collector's... Um, mistress, mistress, assistant. slave, assistant, <laughs> cleaning lady. Fucks up. Fucks up. Well, just wants to kill herself. Unfortunately, it's just sad. Probably the most, the saddest character arc. And okay, anyways, um, touches it, blows the place up, and then that's where we leave the eighth, the ether. We yeah. don't know. We don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's intact. Maybe it's it escaped. Or maybe it's, it's out Somewhere floating else. around somewhere. So the last time we see it, though, it's with the collector. It's with the collector. That's the last we know. Which is an odd choice because Odin. Gives it, or it comes from Asgard and goes to the collector, right? Yeah, I, I just think Odin they didn't want to trust it with. Yeah, Odin didn't want to put all his eggs in the basket. Okay, true, because he, yeah. he had the Tesseract as well. Right, didn't want to, didn't want to keep him in Fair the same enough. place. So they give it to the collector, and, and the now, collector takes the ether, and then he says to himself, "Oh, I have one. I need five more." Okay. Confirming there's six. Okay, and then he gets the Power Stone. Now he's psyched. He has two. His uh, lady friend blows the place up. Now he has none. And the Power Stone we saw, um, we saw Ronan eventually get it. And right. He puts it into his hammer or whatever you want to call it, and yeah. he comes down to Xandar and he's ready to blow the shit up. And the Guardians, the, the, uh, Peter Quill does his little song and dance, distracts him. Right. I thought it was a fantastic scene. I thought it was, it was a fan- <laughs> takes the stone and like the Guardians of the Galaxy are able to hold it because they all hold hands. You know, little ring around the rosy style. Yeah. So, then, do you think they needed all of them to hold hands in order for it to work? Or do you think, think that... I think it makes for a good movie. I th- yeah, absolutely. I it no, it's very good theatrics. I would have liked or, it But if, is Peter Quill strong enough? I think Peter Quill's strong enough. Okay. I, I also think that it would have been better if he just held it. Because I like... I Another like team, though. I, yeah, but I like the... Because Peter Quill's the leader. He yeah, is yeah, the leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he I they agree. are a team, but he is the leader. You're right. So I, I would have liked to see him... It, it is nice that like they also helped... But, you know, they put it back in the ball, and, you know, the, you know, there was a dummy ball, so Yondu didn't get it, and, right. and he ends up giving it to the Nova Corps. So now the Nova Corps have the Power Stone, and we're not sure where the Reality Stone is at this point. No, no, no. You think it could be with the Collective yeah, right. Stone? Reality Stone, yeah, we don't know. Yeah. And the Power Stone the is air. with the Nova Corps. That's right. On Xandar with John C. Riley. Cool. And Glenn Close. All right. <laughs> and then, so now the Mind Stone, which is which is my personal, my favorite stone. It's a fun story. It's It's been I, around. It's gotten around. Yeah. So Thanos had a stone. He had this stone, the Mind oh, Stone. I don't think I knew that. He had the Mind Stone. He put it into a scepter, and he gave it and trusted it to Loki. Idiot. And he sent the Chitari to Earth to take back the Tesseract. And to and to move on the rest of the stones. So essentially, he was doubling down, using one stone to get another stone, and now he has no stones. Right. So, so Thanos is not a happy camper. No. <laughs> but I like the Mind Stone because it was in the. It was kind of like your introduction to like. Well, really, like you see the stone before, but you see the Tesseract before. You see what it can do. But this, when it comes, when Loki comes down and he gets um, Doctor, fuck, what's his name? I can't remember. But he also Doctor, controls Hawkeye. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Controls Hawkeye, controls the Doctor, and they're, they're helping him, uh, you know, get all get all that shit. And they escape the Shield base and blow up the Shield base. Yeah. Um, so th- I thought that was really cool, and I I thought that was a really great scene in uh, the first Avengers movie when Loki's on the top of Stark Tower and Tony Stark goes up there and he tries to touch him with the with the the staff yeah. and he touches his. Uh, ah. The power generator, yeah, and it like don't, won't work. Doesn't and work. like he like, goes back to touch it again, and kind of like, yeah. doesn't work. <laughs> and then he like, and then Loki throws him out the window, and then his new suit like grabs him. But I thought that was really cool. But the Mind Stone essentially you can you can make people you know your bitch, right? You can just like they can turn you know do. More, I mean, definitely one of the more evil ones, right? One of the more taking useful ones, will. especially taking away somebody's will. Yeah, de- yeah, definitely, Free definitely will. evil, definitely useful. I mean, it, it, if you want to talk, I mean that's and then now so. It's been moved around. They had Loki's scepter, 
and then they Tony lost Stark. It, the they lost it in the Battle York, of New York. Recovered it from Hydra. Yes, because they found Hydra infiltrated Shield again. Yes, in in uh, in, so, in um, I'm sorry, Winter no, Soldier. Soldier. Winter Soldier. Yeah. Yes, they recovered it again. So now in Age of Ultron, uh, they have Stark has it, yeah. and Stark and uh, Banner are kind of like working on it. Everybody else is fucking against it. They're like, you shouldn't be fucking with this thing. And so then it ends up creating Ultron. Thor comes out of no well, no, no. It it it, it he uses the the schematics right to create the AI. Because it was like this very advanced AI, like okay, built into it. But he it. doesn't use the stone to create Ultron. No, no, he Ultron creates himself. Right, right, right. Destroys Jarvis. Exactly. Creates it himself. But then he, Ultron was using the stone to make himself a physical body. Right. And then they they recovered the stone. Is that right? They they did not yeah. recover the stone. The stone was being put into. Uh, Ultron was able to break it apart. Oh, and okay. Put it into the yeah, yeah, little yeah. like casket Coming back thing to me now. Yeah. Um, that Vision is in, and so now the Vision relies. Thor, Thor, Thor did it though. Thor, Thor relies, juiced him up. Yes, Thor came yeah. out of nowhere. Thor, yeah, with the lightning. Yeah, yeah. You know, did Thor things. Um, yeah, just just fucking doing what Thor does, yep. and he um, he comes to life as the Vision, who is now an Avenger. Yeah, I guess. I don't know how anybody defeats the v- Vision, but I don't know. <laughs> I, but that's going to be an interesting. Scarlet, which that's going to be an interesting movie. Whatever movie. Um, Thanos rips the stone out of Vision's head. <laughs> because, I mean, how else do you get the stone from Vision? And does Vision lose his powers? Does Vision cease I mean, to Vision exist? definitely loses his powers, or does Vision cease to exist? Is what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah. I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't know the lore behind that. But anyway. <laughs> did you see Doctor Strange? I did not, unfortunately, but I do know that's what the time stone is. Doctor Strange was a great fucking movie. I heard it was amazing, actually. I love Doctor Strange. The visual, the, the CGI, all the computer generated stuff was awesome. It was like right on par with uh, Inception. Kind of had like the same kind of things, like right. buildings. Kaleidoscope in type yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 man. Good shit. So, I need to see it. It was awesome. See it. Definitely it's not see still it. out. Uh, no, it, it just hit Blu-ray today, actually. Oh, well. So... Um, but it'll be on. I'm sure it'll be on HBO Go or Netflix soon. People well. who you know Marvel, if you want to throw us a few money, few, <laughs> some cash for plugging in uh, Doctor Strange We're plugging on, all on your Blu-ray, movies. on Blu-ray. Give, give yeah, us something. Um, this is the special Doctor Strange on Blu-ray episode. So Doctor Strange was great. I don't want to spoil too many things for you. No, no, no. But, it's okay. If I haven't seen it by now, it's my own fault. Um, it's in. So the vessel for the Time Stone is in the Eye of Agamotto. And that is in a necklace. We'll get into that, why yeah. necklace is important right. later. Right. Um, but it's in a necklace that is in the... It's basically like this... It's called the Kamara Taj. And I'm, I'm probably saying that incorrectly. But it's the hey, headquarters... Kamara Taj. Yeah, you got it. It's the headquarters of the Masters of the Mystical Arts. So it's a library with all these like crazy ancient artifacts. And there's different like bases throughout the world. So there's like one in London. There's one in New York. On Bleecker Street, which is where Doctor Strange resides. Gotcha. Um, Bleecker Street. That doesn't sound right. Uh, but anyway, so it's in this um, little eye thing, and that's how you know uh, mass uh, sorcerer supremes over the years have been able to use it because it's in this little eye thing, and you're able to essentially fast not not fast forward, but reverse time. Like literally, you could be standing there, and you could have said something, and then I can just reverse it. It's kind of like the um, the thing in Harry Potter. Uh huh. Yeah, but wait, backwards. wait, you can't go forward. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure. I'm, 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 maybe I think you can probably go. Through, but in the movie, they did not show a forward progress. Oh, okay. They, they only showed. Got it. Um, Got it. Address. But anyway, so it's it's in that movie in a necklace. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Bleecker Street. Yep, that's where the. Um, the little home base for the because then they're all but interconnected through they're all interconnected through like magic like he could walk into through a window and be in London and walk through a window and be in China right and all these different things so super uh, useful so that's when it's first saw that's when you first see it it's the time stone right it's in uh, it's in Doctor Strange and that's where it stays so now it's is guarded it by Wong is it safe right now it is safe it's good he, right now Doctor Strange is now the Sorcerer Supreme. He is the he's so the keeper of can all I go to Taco Bell and order the Sorcerer Supreme? <laughs> I think Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's the uh, <laughs> the Doritos Loco 
Crunch wrap sorcerer. Sorcerer Supreme. Supreme. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, I believe is the actual name for it. So you can go in the character Wong, who is kind of like the keeper of all the books and all uh-huh. the spell books and things like that. Got it. Um, he's the keeper of all that stuff, so he keeps it safe. But I think it's in good hands right now with Stephen Strange. So okay. that's where that is. The last one has yet to been revealed. Yet to be revealed. All right, this is my favorite one. This is your favorite one. Love the Soul okay. Stone. Give give it to me. Um, okay, so the Soul Stone seals souls. You transport the owner to other dimensions. Mm. Does a lot of fun things. And the idea is it's going to show up in one of the three Marvel movies coming out this year, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, or Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. The big, the, the, the even money right now is Thor Ragnarok. Not only is Thor based around a lot of the Infinity yeah. Stones throughout the uh, Thor movies, but the other two just doesn't seem like it's going to be a good fit. Now, you you explain this to me. Why don't you think it would be a good fit? T- tell me your reason. Well, so Guardians of the Galaxy, um, the director said, uh, is it Gunn? Right, yeah, he James, did, um, Gunn. James Gunn. Um, he said he wants to do like a standalone kind of, uh, not worry so much about the Infinity Stones in this coming film. Um, and I'm fine with that. He's he did a great job with the first one. I think let him let him like that's cool. He, yeah, and it still fits in with the with the MCU perfectly. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, Iron Man does very similar things. The Iron Man uh, standalone movies do very little, if any, Infinity Stone for sure st- uh, story progression. So it, it has worked before. It's probably going to be just fine. Same goes with Spider Man. It just seems like why would Spider Man Homecoming? You know why is you know he's in was he Brooklyn? Yeah, the there's Queens? a lot going on. It, Queens. Uh, Queens, yeah, yeah, yeah Queens. Queens. There's a lot going on in Spider Man Homecoming for that. Yeah, be, uh, it's just stone. it'd be too much. So yeah. I like that, and you know, just the obvious like Thor is Asgard is all about the also, Infinity Stones. If you're playing the odds, the most amount of Infinity Stones have showed up in Thor's hands. Exactly. You know, or the Thor movies' hands, uh, which I'm ashamed. I think I already said it before, I have not seen the Thor movies, which I'm ashamed to say. Well. But I will see them eventually. You should see them, and you should see them if only because we may have already seen the Soul Stone. Oh, you think we may have seen I it? I think we've seen it, and I think it's in Heimdall. Okay. that's. You, do you know just, who Heimdall is? Elba's character? Yes. Okay. He He's very orange. Is he? His eyes glow orange. So you think he's the vessel for his it? His armor's pretty orange, okay. and there's a little glowing dot in his armor right here. Okay. Little orange stone Interesting. size. Interesting. Stone. I Now I need to feel like I need to see this. Now thing. I need to see it. So I, I know his character. I just didn't know. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So but Notice it starts with H, too. Which, which, which we'll let's, to. so let's But get, then hold on. If I can ooh, talk about other ones, there's also the uh, Hella. There's also Hella. Who's Hella. Hela is being played by I think Kate Blanchett and Thor Ragnarok. Really, is the uh, leader of Hell. So, okay. believe it or not, Hela. Okay. Spoiler alert. Um, Which makes sense for the Soul Stone. H. Yeah. Soul Stone. She steals souls. Yep. And the other one is him. Okay. Him is commonly referred to as uh, Adam Warlock. I think his name is Adam. That's the that's the Rock's character. <clears throat> Is he doing Warlock? Adam Warlock. I'm pretty sure Adam Warlock is the rock. So, growing up, my dad was a big-time comic book reader, and his favorite was Spider-Man. But he also liked Warlock, because he had a soul gem in his head that would, as he defeated enemies, he would steal their souls, and he would become more and more evil. So it was always this constant battle of, do I destroy this enemy, or uh-huh. or do I let him live? If I destroy him, I absorb the soul, become more evil. And he was always... He was in constant battle with his future self because his future self becomes evil, but he's always trying to resist his future self. Okay. Um, which is probably explained by the time stone. So I think that from what I'm reading here, I don't know if they have – I don't know if they have it casted or if they're saying, but they were saying the rumor was that if he was going to come, he was going to come in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. All right. So I am ignorant on the subject, but I do know two things. In the comics – he is referred to often as just him. He's very powerful. Okay. As him, H, him. We'll get to that in okay. a second. So there's three H's here. We'll put we'll triple H. <laughs> so here. him, Helia, Hella, Hella, and Heimdall. And Heimdall. Okay. Those are the three theories. I think it's Heimdall because I think we've already seen it. However, and that makes sense. Anyways, and also in the comic arc, and um, Kevin Smith, feel free to call in and uh, uh, correct us if we're wrong. But in please call. <laughs> In the uh, uh, Warlock in the Thanos arc, apparently Warlock is pivotal in bringing down Thanos. Okay. So they're thinking they need Warlock. Okay. In the uh, in the movie. So, so, however he shows up. So I don't think that they have someone cast as Adam Warlock. I remember hearing that too, though, as you say it. Adam Warlock. 
So yeah, there's only casting rumors right now. So if he does show up, it's a well hidden secret. It's a it's a it's a good it's a hidden secret. Yeah. Right now. So that that's pretty cool. So anyway, let's jump into the theory now. Okay. So this is probably not. So let's let's recap. All right. We have the space gem, the space stone, which is in the tesseract. T T T. Let's skip one. You have the reality <laughs> stone. Which is in the uh, which is the aether aether or ether, however you want to call it. it starts with an A. A. So Bad radio. T, ether starts with an A. T space A. Then you have the time stone, which we're not sure where it is right no, now. No, we no, do no. Know that's in the necklace. necklace. That's right. That's the necklace. So N. So you have T. guys pull out a pen and paper. Write this down as we go. <laughs> this is like a wheel. This is a bad <laughs> bad version of wheel of fortune. And then you have the power stone, which is in the orb. Oh. Then you have the Mind Stone, which is in the Sept... Was in the Scepter. Was in the Scepter. And uh, now it's in... Uh, Vision. Vision. But was yes. in the Scepter. Originated in the Scepter. S. So what is that spell with the little blank right at the beginning? That's T space A-N-O-S. Thanos. Thanos. So, so we need what letter? It's, uh, it's a special... That's the special uh, spray tan you get down at uh, Sunrise Tanning down the street. Yeah. It's the Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Yeah, it's uh, it, what they do is they spray colored gems into your into your knuckles as well. Got it. Um, okay. So now the the soul stone. We said it could be in an H. In H. So we have three H theories: Heimdall, Hela, and him. Him is kind of a stretch. With Would you the like H. to solve the puzzle? <laughs> uh, ding ding ding! Thanos. Thanos. Got it. Thanos is what it spells. It's That's called the, the letter theory. I feel Look like it we're up. too. It's too far along at this point to call it anything other than confirmed. I right? think it has to be confirmed. It has to be confirmed. It has to be confirmed. This is not a theory anymore. This is what it is. So whatever that last H is, it still leaves a bit of mystery. We're not sure what it's going to be. Yeah. But it's going to be that. It's going to spell Thanos. We yeah. know that for sure. And the, the I mean, and. Fan theories all over have already given them three options that they can know here. It has yeah. to be one of the three, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So I just wanted to – I thought this was a cool – and I, I, we were all over the place. So I hope people followed. But I thought this was really cool because we're starting the third phase of the Marvel Universe with, you know, Doctor Strange and kind of like it's it, – it's Is a that blurred, phase three? It's a blurred line. Got it really it. is because I think that like the new Guardians movie is technically the beginning of phase three. But I would give it to Doctor Strange. And, okay. and, and Marvel and uh, not Marvel and Civil War. I think Civil War is kind of like the the end of two, right? And the kickoff of three. I think it's both. It makes sense because you think about it, like Doctor Strange kind of brings in the multiverse, yeah. And then you have uh, the coming up Ant Man Wasp. I'm, I'm hyped for that because I really like the first Ant Man. Oh, Ant Man was awesome. The first but they're going to bring in like the quantum area, and then you got the cosmic. Mm-hmm. You know, with, with Guardians. Captain, Guardians and Captain Marvel. Yes, yes, Captain Marvel. Um, Brie so, Lar- Brie so I thought this would be a good. Oh, I love Brie Larson. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Can't I wait. thought this was a good time to kind of like go over the Infinity Stones. Perfect timing because I know it can be confusing, as you saw, but uh, as you heard. But I thought this was a good time to do it. So, uh, all right. So that that's that for that. If you have any like, if we said shit. The wrong way, if you want to just like fucking tear us down, or if you thought we did a good job, you can either hit us up on Twitter at Make Movies Great, or you can call us. Our voicemail is 401 285 I always fuck that <laughs> up. Do you, have you heard me try and say it before? <laughs> yeah. I, oh, it's, it's 285 8120. That is the number. Right on the board. Yeah, I gotta write down the board. It's, eight, it's 285. <laughs> Eight one two zero. You sure? Four hundred one. I'm positive. Four hundred one. Now they know where we are. That's fine. It's uh yeah. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna double check this because I I do not trust myself at all today. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Two eight five eight one two zero. Four hundred one. Yeah. Two eight five. Uh, so you can leave us a voicemail there. Again, the Twitter is at Make Movies Great. Uh, or you can hit us up on average nobody's if you already follow us there. All right. So let's let's uh, let's get into the closing now. We're about forty minutes. That's not bad. It's actually, I I, 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 hey, I just want to say I'm quick. getting a cold right now, and I I still came to work. Looking at you, Adam. Appreciate appreciate that, Sean. Looking at you, hey, Adam. That's dedication. That's about my is. vitamins, Pringles. <laughs> Cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese, you Pringles, should, you should go vitamins. Get the, you should get the Sorcerer Supreme at Taco Bell with the leader, though. Yeah, Sorcerer Supreme. I think that might, that might get you right back on the You know, on I the have end. a question. How do the Jaegers walk in the middle of the ocean? 
Listen. So one of my, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talking uh, about Pacific Rim here, and I'm, 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 I'm ambushing Matt here. I'm going to, Adam. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna hear your question, but okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna defer to one of my favorite animes of all time, Gundam Wing. Okay. Um, in Gundam Wing, which is a flawless TV show, flawless and, and, and animated series, agreed. Um, but I don't remember this part. The the Gundams are all different sizes. Kay. Sometimes they fit on the back of an 18 wheeler truck. Sometimes they stand as tall as skyscrapers. It, the same, it's, the it's, same Gundam. The same Gundam. Okay. It's, it's in. If Tom, I'm sure Tom's not listening because he has important lawyer things to be doing right now. But if you are listening, Tom, we we talk about this all the time. They never and they don't change in size. It's just an inconsistency that doesn't really matter for the story. So right. it's kind of just like they they can these kids can carry their own 18 wheelers or they're as, they're as big as like a container ship and they have okay. to lay flat on a container ship. Right. Just the way it is. So I think what that is, you have to kind of suspend. suspend also, disbelief. Also, Sean, I also would like to answer this with a, with, a, with a fact as well. What do you think is the average depth of Narragansett Bay? Narragansett Bay is a pretty big watershed. Did, correct? This is the Atlantic Rim. This is not Pacific Rim. So I know that. But but, but just what do you think I don't actually, I, the I, average depth? If I'm going to guess, 20 feet. It's twenty six feet. Really? Yeah, twenty six feet. Is the only reason why I came close is because I knew I knew where you were going with that. It's, it's shallow. Yeah, so but I that's think pretty that cool. You know, it's average. This depth. is a lar- a very large robot. So you know, there's some areas maybe I I, I get I get what you're saying in Anchorage. That yeah. scene from Pacific Rim at the beginning of Pacific Rim. It's kind of insane for them to be walking out there. In the oh, little, of you know, little jet propulsions and around the ankles. I guess right. Yeah, yeah just, just pushing just you know down. Like, yeah. It's like the um, the inflatable rafts around the feet, and they just kind of like keep them buoyant, right? Kind of thing. But like also it. the kaiju as well. They just kind of like stand up in the middle of the thing. Yeah. Uh, but are you not you're not excited for the second one? I actually am. Have you heard the news about the second one? Like, well, have, you, have you heard us talk? About, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah no, I have. I have. It's it's gonna be pretty awesome. It sucks that Charlie Hunnam isn't in it, but that's too bad. Yeah. Uh, I was actually, for the record, I was pleasantly surprised with that. What, I went I went with you and Adam to see that movie kicking and screaming and I, I walked out of it pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I got to be honest, when I first saw but, the, when I first saw the previews for that, I thought it was a fake movie. I thought it wasn't a real movie. Yeah, it was like Godzilla meets Rock'em Sock'em Robots meets Th- Yeah, they know. showed like they showed it they advertised it in the weirdest way and I remember that like and I was like is it, oh it's an actual movie like it's coming out. I was like all right, that that's pretty cool. And that's then funny. I just it's just, wow, it's one of my favorite movies. I love that shit. Um but yeah, Suicide Squad was terrible. All right, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, they can't all be winners. The DCU is getting back on track. I mean, after you do Batman vs Superman, it's hard to follow. It's hard to follow a movie like that. I mean, Wonder Woman's awesome. Favorite part for me. Are you? Are you? Are you? Do you think it's going to be awesome? I do. She's my favorite part. Of I'm that optimi- movie. I'm optimistic. She's the favorite part of that movie. I w- do you wish they didn't spoil her in the trailer? Yes. Yeah. That that was. That's what I'm talking as about. As much as it like, as much as it pumped me up, yeah, like to see the movie, shit yeah. with you, uh, I thought you were there. Uh, yeah. like, that was awesome. <laughs> but it, w- it would have been great in the movie. Yeah. Didn't even the trailer. It was awesome. Uh, it's gonna be cool to see like the mascara. How do you fucking say where she's from? I don't know. I read in the we comic books. I read in the comic books every fucking day. We couldn't even get no, Xandar. No, it's it's the them mascara. Them, it's like a fucking. I'm saying it correct. I'm not saying it correctly. <laughs> but people who know how to say it know what I'm saying. Call us and correct us. Them mascara. Them. Themyscaria. Themyscaria. It's an island where all the Amazons live and shit, and Diane's mother and all that. F- uh, so anyway, that's it's, they're going to show that. They're going to show like how... Um, Got it. Steve... Is Aquaman uh, in the next one? Yeah, he's in... I don't think he's in Wonder Woman, but he is definitely in Justice League. They released a clip. Yes, I saw that. Uh, he's approaching... Uh, C- Seaman. Approaching his father. Uh, Seaman. 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 Uh, I, I, I botched it last week. Uh, I said uh, Aaron Curry instead of Arthur Curry. <laughs> I don't know what I was getting with Aaron Curry. I don't know who Aaron Curry is. It's like his 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 fish brother. It's like half <laughs> half tilapia with with human legs instead of the opposite. Uh, Aaron Curry. Uh, yeah. So uh, I just want to talk quick. I I saw. Do you ever see the Killing Joke? The movie. No, that's it's a little short. Though. Yeah, it's a little short image. Short. Yeah, it's I a short. It's it, you know? it was like an hour and twenty minutes, I think. But anyway, so I read the comic book recently, and Is I also have the movie. Short? That's a feature. It's technically a feature, but I mean, for a comic book, something it's All on. Right. The, it's on the short side. Fair enough. Um, but it, it's a it's the adaptation of the book written by Alan Moore, and it was great. It was awesome. I had never heard the story before. It's kind of like people are saying it's like the quintessential. Joker um, origin story. Like, this is the one that everybody, like, 
when you uh, when you hear about Joker origin stories, this is the one. Failed comedian, Got like it. trying to provide for his wife, and he like goes into like business with the mob, and then the mob he works at this like on the part part time he works at, like this, uh, you know, toxic waste factory, mm-hmm. and so then you know, he's he, a failed you know, comedian. Doing, yeah, oh. isn't that kind of funny? Yeah, and so funny. the whole and so the whole. Uh, do you do you want me to do you want me to do you want me to go on or do you want me to please for the listeners? So anyway, so the the whole the killing joke. Uh-huh. He's like, at the end of the movie, he's like facing Batman and he tells this joke to Batman. And like, this is after uh, the Joker has like paralyzed Barbara Gordon, um, who in who is Batwoman, uh, Batgirl, and then uh, paralyzed. And so like, Batman's been chasing this guy, chasing the Joker the entire, the entire like story. Mm-hmm. And he finally gets to him at the end and like the Joker tells him a story, uh, tells him a joke. And then Batman essentially like the, it ends in the movie the same ends in the comic books like you see laughter 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 and then Batman starts laughing and he like reaches out and like grabs the Joker and then like the laughing stops and it's just like he like kills the Joker whoa it's fucking crazy so it's an origin and ending it's an origin and ending wow. so it's a quick turnaround wow so but it's a great story I still I if you want to borrow it or read it or watch it I have the movie right there you should uh, check it out it's pretty awesome if you have not seen it what I just told you it definitely spoils it but <laughs> it's, know, it's, cool, it's, it's really well done and yeah. little treat um, the Joker from the Batman animated series who you might know his voice as Mark Hamill Oh yes, I did know he that. Also does. Oh really? He also uh, does the Joker awesome. in this, and it's so great. I love that Joker. It, it's not. It's not Heath Ledger's Joker. It's not Jack Nicholson's Joker. It's a totally different. It's great. It's yeah, a, he's I a really good, it. really good job with the Joker. Not he really said, takes good I've care of it because he's a super nerd. Yeah, yeah, he's an absolute super nerd. So he, he looks kind of so like funny. Um, I um, love him. Did you ever hear the fan theory behind the uh, Nolan Joker? His background. Like PTSD, yeah, right? Yeah, from it yeah, makes yeah. a lot of sense. With yeah. the, anyways, look it up. It's yeah, awesome. there's yeah, there's a good Viewers theory out there. Yeah, he was like a yeah. um, he used to be in the military. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense for yeah. a lot of his. If you, if you if you read the theory online, it does make a lot of sense. It's actually really a really cool read. So check that out. That's cool. Um, but anyway, I think that's it. I think we're gonna end it right there. Sean, thanks. Oh, yeah. We got like I said, we got big things cooking. Oh, yeah. Um the end of this week I'm heading to South by Southwest to watch some movies. No big deal. Actually on Friday I'm gonna be watching um Alien, the first Alien I with heard my good friend this. with my good friend Ridley and uh Michael Fassbender and uh Dave McBride. So wow. and I might see a sneak peek of the So Adam thinks that and this is not beyond South by Southwest, but Adam thinks they're gonna fill the theater for Alien to watch a really Scott to see a sneak peek of the new Alien Covenant movie mm-hmm. and they're actually going to pull the wool over your eyes and play the new movie. Not Which anymore, you ruined it. I would lose my fucking mind. <laughs> all of your, all of your, all of our listeners are going to run around wild. They're not going to do it now. You just ruined it for yourself. No, no, that would be awesome. To, so that would be fucking crazy. They did that awesome. a couple years ago with Fast and Furious, which is not to the scale of. Oh, you know, is that right? They everybody was like, come in and watch the uh, watch last year's Fast and Furious with the director. Yeah. And so they had the director and a few of the cast there. Vin Diesel was there. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I already saw it. I don't really want to wait in line. And then I look on Twitter the next fucking morning, and they show <sighs> the fucking new one. And I was like, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> fuck. Never again. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> so. And then, like, I, I went to go. Then I didn't, I didn't miss anything ever again. I saw this Star Wars documentary <laughs> that I've already seen, like, ten times. And Just I went there case. because J.J. Abrams was there. And, of course, J.J. Abrams was there. But also Mark Hamill was there. And then R2-D2 rolled on stage. And I was, like, losing my shit. So Wait, what are you talking about? What are talking about the Star Wars documentary? There's a Star Wars documentary for when they made Episode Seven. Oh, it's really? like a behind the scenes. It's really good. Oh, I think it's on cool. Netflix. Oh, um, that's cool. But it, it, it had been out, and they were like just showing it there, and J.J. Abrams was answering questions. Mm-hmm. And so, But then it was like Mark Hamill was there, yeah. um, R2 was there, and a bunch of other um, cast and crew. That's awesome. So that was cool. So anyway, so uh, like I said, going to South by Southwest this week, I'm planning on doing a, an episode from Austin with, with Adam, and if you want to jump on too, Sean, I don't know what year. Next but we, week? We don't know when or how or I'm gonna have my computer with me, so I'll have to Skype it and record it from there. All right, uh, but we're gonna try and do it. Yeah, so. and then when we get back, we got big things happening. Big so things. again, Twitter at Make Movies Great. Phone number 401-285-8120. Leave us a voicemail. Ask us a question. Leave us a comment. Call us dickheads. I don't care. Do something. And also leave us a five star review and a rating on uh, a five star review, a five star rating and a review on iTunes. And until next time, I'm Matt. I'm Sean. It's the unspoken truth of humanity that you crave subjugation. 
The bright lure of freedom diminishes your life's joy in a mad scramble for power, for identity. You were made to be ruled. In the end, you will always kneel.